introduction it is diwali time vani is lighting candles in front of her house she has 30 candles she wants to arrange them in five rows she wants to know the number of candles she must arrange in one row she performs a quick calculation and decides to arrange six candles in every row in this lesson you will learn multiplication and division multiplication multiplication is repeated addition for example to find the total number of legs of five chairs we'll add four five times because each chair has four legs 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 20 in other words 5 times 4 is 20 we can write it as 5 into 4 is equal to 20 cross is the sign for multiplication the first number 5 is called the multiplier the second number 4 is called the multiplicand the result of multiplication is called product properties of multiplication now let us learn some properties of multiplication Look at these dots. There are three rows of them. In each row, there are five dots. How do we find out the total number of dots? We add five three times. In other words, we calculate three times five. We can write it as three multiplied by five, which is equal to fifteen. Let us look at different arrangements of the 15 dots. The dots can be arranged in a single row of 15 dots. 1 multiplied by 15 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in 15 rows of one dot each. 15 multiplied by 1 is equal to 15. The dots can be arranged in five rows of three dots each. Five multiplied by three is equal to fifteen. One multiplied by fifteen is equal to fifteen. Fifteen multiplied by one is equal to fifteen. Five multiplied by three is equal to fifteen. 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15 these are called multiplication facts multiplication table of 2 multiplication becomes easy once we memorize the multiplication facts multiplication facts are contained in multiplication tables Let us start with a multiplication table of 2. Two. two ones are 2. Two. two twos are 4. Two threes are 6. Two fours are 8. Two fives are 10. Two sixes are 12. Two sevens are 14. Two eights are 16. Two nines are eighteen. Two tens are twenty. Multiplication tables of three to ten. Let us now learn the multiplication tables of the numbers three to ten. Let us start with the table of three. Now the table of four. Table of five. Tables of six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Multiplication of single-digit number. 
One fruit bowl contains six apples. How many apples will 13 such bowls contain? We must multiply 13 and 6 to find the answer. Write 13 as 10 plus 3. Multiply 10 and 6. Then multiply 3 and 6. Sum the results up. 10 multiplied by 6 is equal to 60. 3 multiplied by 6 is equal to 18. 60 plus 18 is equal to 78. 13 bowls will contain 78 fruits. Example Multiply 75 by 6. Place the numbers one below another. Multiply 5 by 6. 5 sixes are 30. Place 0 below 6 and 3 above 7. Multiply 7 by 6. 7 sixes are 42. Add 42 and 3. Write 45 below 7. The answer is 450. Example 18 girls have to be seated in a bus. Two girls can sit in a single seat. How many seats must be there in the bus? Divide the girls into groups of two. There are nine groups. So, there must be nine seats in the bus. We can write the above problem as 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Multiplication is repeated addition. Multiplicand is the number multiplied. Multiplier is the multiplying number. Product is the result of multiplication. Division is repeated subtraction. Dividend is the number divided. Divisor is the dividing number. Quotient is the result of division.